Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernita evening headlines on September 5, 2022. Rich countries caused Pakistan's catastrophic flooding. Their response, inertia and apathy. The Guardian, why are the floods in Pakistan so bad? The Times, today flooding has hit my country, but tomorrow it may be yours. The Telegraph, rich nations owe reparations to countries facing climate disaster, says Pakistan minister. The Guardian, catastrophe, pollution, dirty subsidies and nature capitalism, another week in the climate crisis. Donald Trump hints he may run for 2024 presidency, saying I may just have to do it again. Ukraine News, live, Russia accused of forcing hospital patients in Donetsk into combat. The Independent, Russia-Ukraine war, residential areas in Mykolaiv hit, says Governor, morale and discipline, problems in Russian forces, says UK, live. The Guardian, UK's Wallace, Russia's losses in Ukraine to impact its effectiveness. Reuters UK, Russia's army, suffering from morale and disciplinary issues in Ukraine. Evening Standard, morale and discipline issues hitting Russian troops as they face inadequate rations and pay. 8 go on trial in France over Bastille Day truck attack in Nice. TikTok influencer Tanya Pardazi dies in skydiving incident in Toronto. Wholesale gas prices surge after Russia decides to keep Nord Stream pipeline off. Sky News, FTSE 100 expected to nurse heavy falls at the open. Proactive Investors UK, morning bid, paused stream. Dead in their nests or washed ashore, why thousands of seabirds are dying en masse. Klyuchevskaya Sopka, climbers killed during a fall on Russian volcano. BBC, eight climbers killed on Klyuchevskaya Sopka volcano in Russia's Far East. The Guardian, six climbers die and four left stranded on active Russian volcano. The Times, six people killed, climbing Russia's most dangerous, volcano Klyuchevskaya Sopka. The Independent, Russian volcano climb death toll rises to eight. Man charged after Tennessee heiress Eliza Fletcher allegedly kidnapped and forced into SUV while jogging. Sky News, billionaire heiress kidnapper stalked her and held her in truck for four minutes. Daily Mail, hardware heiress snatched from street while jogging, news. The Times, search for Eliza Fletcher continues. WKRN News 2, woman jogging snatched and forced into SUV, Eliza Fletcher missing. Ukraine offensive prompts Kherson separatists to pause poll on joining Russia. The Guardian, Moscow-controlled Kherson region delays vote to join Russia. Financial Times, Kherson referendum plans paused due to security situation TASS cites Russian installed official. Reuters, Russia-Ukraine war news, live updates. Large parts of Amazon may never recover, major study says. Missiles flying in front of your eyes, the brave volunteers driving Ukrainian families under fire from Kherson. Sky News, Russia-Ukraine war latest, what we know on day 194 of the invasion. The Guardian, Ukrainian counteroffensive making verifiable progress against Putin's troops in South. Evening Standard, Zelensky aid posts photo of Ukraine soldiers taking back southern village. Reuters, Ukraine pushes back Russian troops in battle for Kherson as village is captured. China earthquake kills 21 as tremors shake lockdown Chengdu. The Guardian, China quake, deadly tremor rocks Sichuan city in lockdown. BBC, earthquake kills at least 21 people during Sichuan's COVID lockdown, ITV News. ITV News, breaking views, strong earthquake strikes China's southwestern Sichuan province. Reuters, Deadly earthquake shakes part of southwestern China. Saskatchewan stabbings, live, random, victims of attack that killed 10 identified as manhunt continues. The independent, Canada stabbings, police hunt suspects after killing spree in Saskatchewan. BBC, Canada police hunt suspects over stabbing rampage, BBC News. BBC News, Canada stabbings, police launch manhunt after killing spree in Saskatchewan leaves 10 dead. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.